guys and thanks for watching again. Uh, today we're going to be looking at flesh tone analysis and we're going to use standard forensics methodology to uh, demonstrate this. Where this comes in handy is if you're investigating let's say a suspected person looking at child porn or something like that you want to quickly take the hundreds of thousands of pictures that could inevitably end up on their hard drive and separate the ones that have human skin colors or human skin tones in it versus the ones that don't and eliminate the ones that don't. So uh, we're going to look at several ways to do this. In a nutshell we can eliminate all the pictures except for the ones we're interested in or the ones that have human skin tone in it. Now this is because the color table assigns unique hex values to every possible combination of colors on the color wheel and there are certain combinations of colors that typically make up flesh tone and that's what we're, go we're getting at here. So let's go ahead and get at it and see um, some good ways to do this. Now one of the things you're going to see when we go through this is uh, you know there are a few setup things or a few things you have to know that we don't want you to take for granted when you're doing this. Uh, for example, you know these hex values could show up in other things other than just pictures. So if you did a, a search for those hex values and you search Word documents and uh, all kinds of other files, then you're going to get lots of false positive hits back. So one of the first things we're going to do is eliminate everything except for just the pictures. So let's go ahead and take a look. Now to begin with here, we're going to start off we've already loaded an image of a hard drive here so we've taken an image of a hard drive and now I'm just going to go out to Google and we'll just do a quick Google search for uh, flesh tone now I've already got these code, these hex values uh, in a text file but I'm just going to show you how easy it is to find them and you know show you how deep you can go with this or how far you can go with it because you don't have to necessarily stop with just I want to identify all human flesh tones. Uh, you could, you know, some people have done some research out here, and they've been able to get, uh, you know, hex representations of individuals. And then there's other people that, uh, you know, they can basically based on, uh, to some extent, geographic area, uh, you know, as related to the world. Uh, for example, people that tend to live in very uh, sunny, hot dry climates tend to be darker than people that live in very cold climates. So I mean you got a pale dark comparison there and uh, you know people have done research. So let's go ahead and jump back on FTK here. And uh, this is FTK I'm using. Uh, maybe I'll do a later video to show you how to do it with several other utilities other than just FTK. So let's look at some, some items here. So first let's look at graphics. Now as you can see there's 655 pictures listed here and that's because we filtered out uh, you know so many of them. So I'm going to go ahead and select all the photos because I want you know even at this point we're not trying to necessarily figure out which photos are human skin tone and which ones are not. Right now we're just saying alright let's find everything that's a photo or it could possibly be a photo or some type of image file. So obviously we want to get graphics. Another thing slack space this is often overlooked, you know, deleted files could be here, um, you know, there's other files that could be hiding in Slack or free space, so we want to select those because we don't know what's there, and at this point we're not deep enough in the analysis yet to look at the Slack space and, and take each piece out and say, oh, well this looked like it was a thumbnail or part of a picture. So to make sure we get everything, we're going to get all the Slack space. Now, <clears throat> as you can see, if we scroll down here, we've got all the Slack space included and we wanted this we wouldn't said select all to grab all those alright so if we move around again up here um, another thing that I like to look for is just scan my OLE objects that FTK or you know Paraben or uh, whatever tool it is we have finds and then we can also look for look at docs now what we want to do is we want to deselect the ones that we're not going to include all right, in our uh, analysis in the, or in our search for uh, skin tone here. So we can see all these different types. Now if we look at carved, and this is uh, that's a more advanced topic we can talk about later, but uh, basically it's the uh, data that's been carved out of the image as far as things that FTK recognizes. Now if we look at car files, I want to take those out. And then another important one here is deleted files because again some of the most important data 
uh, especially in cases like this, could, in, could be coming from deleted data here. So we've got all of the things that we wanted to include here. Notice our checked items at the top left is what I clicked on earlier there. And I'm scrolling through here and you can see these are just pretty much photos and Slack space because remember we don't really know exactly what's in Slack space yet. So go to search and then I clicked on live search here <clears throat> and then I want to click hexadecimal or hexadecimal. So what I'm going to do, I've got a text file typed up already with the hex values in it that have to do with photos and these are the ones that I'm going to actually be looking for. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and grab that and if I can remember where exactly where I put it, uh, this, is, this is a day two exercise for those of you that are wondering uh, you know at what part of, in our forensics program we cover it. Uh, we, we get right to it. We don't waste a lot of time. Uh, here we go. It's in here, I believe. Skin tone. There we go. Yeah, we don't do six-hour lectures on chain of custody. Uh, you know, we get we talk about that for some time, and we do a lab on it, and then we get right to this stuff. So uh, what I'm going to do with these hex values here is I'm just going to simply copy and paste these. And yes, we do have to painstakingly copy them uh, individually one by one here and this eats up a good amount of time now we're going to go ahead and uh, you know you don't necessarily need to watch me copy and paste uh, all of these values here so what we'll do is we'll cut the video or take out part of it as I'm copying this in and just let you see the final product and it will basically just be uh, in this search items list here you'll see all of these these uh, hex values that we're showing uh, in this particular uh, text file skin tone dot text here alright you can see we've got them all there here's the list and uh, we can see they're all in our uh, FTK search list here alright so now what we're gonna essentially do with this is we're gonna perform a search and you know the search is gonna be based on these hex values here so let's go ahead and do our search and we don't want to do all files we're only gonna do checked files the stuff files that we have checked and basically what it's doing is it's searching through this list of files to see if there's any matches to those hex values that we just put in there now if we get a positive hit back what it should mean is that it's found a photo that's got human skin tone in it which means it's photos of people or a person now I'm gonna show you once it's done here how you know you're still gonna have to do a little bit of analysis to pick out the ones that are relevant and the ones that are not remember we included slack space which could some of it could be photos and some of it could be other things uh, because we haven't again gotten deep enough into the analysis yet to know exactly what's in this the slack space we haven't actually indexed and carved the slack space like we uh, need to yet and this is more of a at a glance quick way to you know identify the photos with skin tone in it uh, looks like we're almost done there alright there we go so we're gonna view results still going alright so if we look at our query here oh, actually let's see yeah that's the wrong query uh, maybe yeah it's the wrong one ah, it's the second one so if we look at this query here uh, we can see these hex values hidden showing up here but another thing you know you, if you notice here it's not necessarily a photo that's got these values in it and this is where you can get in trouble now notice where these, these hits are the first ones I clicked on here these are in drive free space or slack space or unallocated uh, space so these aren't necessarily image files 
So you have to know to look at that and see that and say, okay, well, you know, we'll come back and look at those later, but those are not going to be uh, specifically what we're looking for. Now we've also got uh, some hits on regular expressions and some other things here as well. But <clears throat> if we keep going through the list here, you will see that there are some, some stuff found here. And here's some more on drive free space which again is unallocated space and you might want to look at these and look at the headers because there might be some relevance there uh, you can't just automatically rule out um, all of the stuff that's found in slack now I'm gonna sort this list here let's see and and we're gonna look at the ones that did come back as photos because that's one of the beauties of uh, you know the FTK searches it sorts things uh, in whatever order you'd like to sort them in sort them in so we're going to look, and if you look at the bottom of the list here, we can see that there's uh, actually images. And if we grab this first one, now we could do several things here. We could export this to a file if we, if we wanted to just export these to another media and then examine them later to see if there's actually skin tone. We could copy them. We could also launch a detached viewer, and this gives us a, a, a detached viewer to look at this file and you can see, get to see headers and stuff like that it's almost like a hex editor now if you look there quickly you can see we've got things like camera version that's a Sony camera alright and that might be of uh, value related to evidence so other things we can do we can also use analysis tools we can launch associated programs and we can actually see it in something like uh, you know paint or in this case I'm using inference view and you can see all these pictures do indeed have skin tone in them because there's people in these pictures so the tool did its job and, th and then we have to do our job and go to the next step and actually uh, eliminate the false positives or eliminate the ones that came back in slack space that, that FTK really didn't have a way of identifying as a photo or not because remember this could just be pieces